journalist is exposing the tricks many people on social media use to create an illusion with their photos. Danae Mercer demonstrates how simple things like lighting and angles can make your body look completely different. You're looking at some side by sides of exactly the same thing uh, and the same person just posing at different angles. And Danae joins us this morning. She has 2 million followers and more on Instagram. Thanks for being with us. Hi. Hi, well, thanks for having me. So how did this all start? Uh, did you did you start as a model and you realize, boy, people don't realize what we're doing to look this good? Well, I started, my, my Instagram when I first began was like the traditional luxury travel and fitspo posing. And it, it got to a point where I felt really disconnected from what I was portraying because I knew all the work that went into these like casual snapshot moments when in reality it was maybe you took a hundred photos or there was an hour setting up the shot. So that's, that's how I started talking more about self-love. And I think a lot of people have reached out to you. Let's scroll through some of these pictures. You say to hide bloating, you're just showing a different angle. I think we're gonna show some of these here. You show actual videos of this and people don't even realize what you're doing, right? Because girls especially look at these and they think everyone is a size zero and I'll never measure up. Do people reach out and tell you that? Well, yeah, I mean, I think, gosh, I mean, you're, you're a woman. I'm sure like so many women and teenagers and, and girls, like we are taught that like everything is wrong with us, right? Like we're taught, we're the only ones with cellulite, we're the only ones with bloating, and we need to go, we need to fix these things. So one of the most common things I hear from women is just like, this helps them feel less alone. And I, I know for me, like knowing other women have cellulite on their thighs or stretch marks on their you know, chest, it helps me too. And let's show some of those side by sides, I think, and how people uh, get fooled, if you can. We'll pull up some of those here, too. And did you, did you start doing this? I mean, this is just a, the same person, and you're just doing something a little different with your body. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. I, what a lot of people don't realize is, especially your Instagram models, like we know how to pose. We know what works for our bodies. We know our angles. Like you just scrolled past one that was me on my knees with my hips tilted back and my like chest puffed out. That makes your waist look really small. It makes your legs look long because they're angled towards the camera. It makes your you know upper half look great. And that's a pose that like most bikini models know to do. So it's just, it's a big goal of mine is to pull back the curtain and talk a little bit about these things. This was a conversation that's been going on before the internet when they did it on the cover of Cosmo and the cover of Vogue and the same impact on young women at, at home. By this point, don't, don't women know it's all fake? Gosh, I, I would wish that was true. I think women, we know that magazines, we know that to some extent movies, we know these things are photoshopped. We know they're curated and perfected. But when we look on social media, we associate that with the girl next door. Like we see a hundred perfect images and we think, oh, well, that's the girl down the street. Oh, that's, you know, this friend. Oh, that's this person. And we, we don't think of it as being a photo shoot, as being perfected in the same way that we now realize magazines are. We're so I think there's a huge, a huge education to be happening. We're looking at this little video where you actually make your stomach smaller you you whiten your teeth you color your i mean everything has yeah. <laughs> changed and and people don't realize that and do you have do our girls um maybe fooled by the fact that a lot of these people have a professional photographer taking pictures well gosh exactly this is and it's something i've started to talk about like so many influencers like i work with professional photographers sometimes and it's it can be really really incredible and empowering and beautiful but I think most people don't realize that that happens and the impact it has on how your body shows up on screen or on camera. But knowing how this makes a lot of young women feel, don't people like you bear some responsibility for doing this in the first place? Oh gosh, that's a great question. I, I would love to see more people like me talking about these things. I think that could be a really powerful direction to move into. In the, same, in the same breath, I understand why, you know, I, I've spoken about the fact in the past, especially 
I would make myself thinner in photos. And that came from a place of really disordered thinking about my body. So I understand the mentality that, that goes into trying to present ourselves as perfect on social media. It's just my hope that I would, I would love to see more people just pulling back that curtain. Well, Danae, we appreciate you joining us this morning. You can follow Danae on Instagram and Twitter, and you can check out her YouTube channel as well. She also has a website, DanaeMercer.com. Thanks for being with Thanks, us. Thanks, Danae. Thanks, guys. Bye.